Welcome to Three Radical TV, where we take a deeper dive on the ever-changing world of marketing. And one of the big changes going on right now is cookies are becoming a thing of the past. As a result, the need for audience engagement solutions has never been more critical, and a new partnership seemingly has solved this problem. We're talking about Three Radical, a leader in consumer data acquisition and audience engagement, and also the company they're partnering with, Silver Bullet, a top marketing transformation firm. They have developed a breakthrough technology, which is called 4D. And here to talk about it, we got Gabby Turion, the Director of Product Marketing, Umberto Torrielli, the co-founder and Chief Strategy Officer of Silver Bullet, and my friend, Michael Fisher, head honcho, big boss, over at Three Radical. Guys, thank you all for joining me. Uh, Gabby, let's start with you. What is 4D technology? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for having us. So uh, Silver Bullet is the leading digital marketing transformation company, and we are pushing at 4D, and 4D really identifies in-the-moment marketing opportunities, and it's really by analyzing and scoring the contextual makeup of, of content, whether that be across video or display, and that's something that's being consumed in real time by consumers. I, I suppose just to add to that, in terms of our partnership with your article, most specifically, you know, as Gabby mentioned, 40 really is you know, the leader at understanding digital content that consumed. Um, and what we do with those contextual parameters essentially is pass into through radicals of adaptive experiences to really activate confinement against you know, relevant web pages. Um, from that initial data point, brands can kind of tailor experiences, incentivize just promote consented uh, data capture and really foster product recommendations at the point where more most receptive. And all that's powered by and informed by 40's understanding of content in real time. Michael, let's talk about the need to get rid of cookies. I mean, we saw what happened with Facebook and, you know, you and I have talked at nauseam about, you know, how they've been, you know, capturing people's data illegally. And, and you've really allowed this paradigm shift to motivate you in moving your company into partnerships like this. Look, we we're all aware that targeting and cookies and the things that are associated with those have been abused now for some time. Advertisers took what was supposed to be a personalization strategy and turned it into a surveillance approach where you're constantly followed around via intrusive messaging that you never asked for as a consumer. And so what's excited us about, about 4D and the partnership is, is that via the contextual information that 4D collects, passing that information without a cookie and without any personal identifiable information, we are able to construct experiences that are aligned with what it is that consumers are engaging with in moment. So we're not going to go be running around chasing the consumer, but in fact, we're going to enable the consumer to determine exactly the kinds of experiences they want to have. Mm. And we'll be able to do that via the integration of 4D and 3 Radical. And that's really, I think, what the difference is by what you do. And obviously, I'm partial, but you know, it, it's really not intrusive. It's really about creating a better customer experience and doing it with that customer's permission. So um, either Gabby or Umberto, can you guys talk about how the gamification platform is going to augment or complement the 4D technology? Yeah, absolutely. You know, one of the one of the things that we set out to do with 4D was not just build a targeting and outcomes engine, which really is meant to again, drive better performance and better outcomes for, for marketers and media, but also to create an ecosystem that will enable experiences that move us beyond the cookie, right? So to, to your question, really, and to Michael's point, we're seeing with regards to the specific integration is the ability to pass over to three radical, um, a, a really thorough understanding of the context that's being consumed by, by someone um, in the moment, and to use that and leverage that to you know, dynamically alter their experience once they land on a landing page. They've shown interest in a particular advertisement on a particular piece of content. Um, by clicking on that, they've now expressed their, their, you know, their interest in wanting to learn more, providing them, therefore, with a personalized experience around that particular product and the content that they were consuming just prior to arriving on the landing page, there's a very strong um, signal of, again, of customer journey orchestration tied to, to clear intent um, that should be really decent results. And, and we really feel strongly about this. So Gabby, what type of industries will benefit from this type of partnership? I think that 
when we look at this type of technology and the solution, we can look at brands across all verticals, whether they're focused on CPG or auto or insurance. I really think that from a, a marketer lens and a consumer lens, having a more personalized experience that's both GDPR compliant, safe and personalized means that you're reducing a lot of the noise that a lot of consumers have to deal with on a daily basis. And you're really creating an experience that's enjoyable, but then you're also able to speak to the consumer and ultimately retain them. And so I think that's a massive win for a lot of brands across all verticals, not just there's no, there's no one specific vertical that I think will ultimately benefit. I think it's across the board. We're going to see a lot of improvement. The, the, the compliance issue is constantly popping up, like cookies, in fact. I mean, should other companies be taking note of, of, of this partnership and what you all are doing? Yes. Right, right out of the gate, the answer is yes. And the simple reason is, if you're going to continue to develop relationships with customers, you have to capture consent and you have to be transparent in that capture. And that's, we bring that to the table. We bring that to the table with contextual alignment. Gone are the days of, hey, come to my site, it's 20% off everything here. Uh, no, contextual flags say, it's 20% off these particular items that fall in a category that you've been investigating, reading, and watching things about before you got here. So that we're shrinking the world's longest proverbial digital shopping aisle by aligning content with context, and we're capturing consent. So this whole, I'm going to chase you around the web, hoping you buy the shoelaces you had no intention of buying, <laughs> if you just happen to click on them, that's over, right? In this world, it's really tied to having the consumer define the experiences they want. Um, we're really trying to move the industry past reliance on, on third party data um, in, in some ways. We're trying to wean the industry off of that, A, because it's going to go away anyways with the demise of the, of the cookie, but because it was never fundamentally the right thing to do. Um, and, and also fundamentally, it never really worked well because there was no standardization of data quality across third party data purpose. So, you know, to, to use Michael's example about shoes, shoelaces or shoes. Um, provider that says someone is in the market for shoes, that definition might differ the next data provider and the next data provider. So how do you really nice that and standardize it? Well, we never did as an industry. And I think the result of that is you have broken experiences. And consumers that were targeted with incorrect advertisements uh, that no longer pertain to them or just were outright wrong. Um, and that carried through to the purchase of experiences on, on landing pages and websites. Um, because fundamentally they were being informed by incorrect data sets. I think that's where the strength and the power um, and the intelligence of aligning contextual in the moment signals with the experience of the landing page happening you know, moments later um, is going to be a very strong indicator of, of how we move the industry past third party data and the reliance on that. Um, and more importantly, how we give consumers an experience that they deserve, right? A consumer nowadays in 2021. Um, should expect a degree of personalization, should not expect or want to be retargeted with things that are irrelevant. To so this sounds like you're building a relationship with customers through this technology as opposed to harassing them? Absolutely. And look, think, think of the integration here as an opportunity for organizations to leverage digital chaperones as well as custodians of what is important for personal information. Right, We are 100% aligned with privacy. We are 100% aligned with the things that consumers want to protect about their own personal information. And the reason we're 100% aligned is, is we're not gonna do anything that they don't give us permission to do. And they're gonna provide us, they, they have to contribute that data, right? We're chaperoning them through the experience and in the process saying, can we, are you willing for us to, would you like to learn more? We're upfront, transparently capturing information that allows the experiences that they want to be affected, not the ones the brand wants for another call to action that matters to nobody. Well, this is very exciting stuff. Gabby Turian, Umberto Torrielli, and Michael Fisher, thank you all for talking this through with me. I appreciate it and uh, great things ahead for all of you. Congratulations and best of luck. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you very much.